it has been a hot summer. If you watched last week's episode or maybe just walked outside a few times in the last couple of months, you already knew that. We're in another one of these little hot spells right now. But as you may have heard a few dozen times, if it's not the heat itself, it's... It's the humidity! <laughs> Thanks, Monica. And that's not exactly true. It's a little bit of both the heat and the humidity. When we combine the two, we start talking about something called the heat index. And over the last few weeks, a lot of you have asked about where that number comes from. As with a lot of things in meteorology, it's a heavily calculated science. But I'm here to tell you what's hot in this week's episode of Heather's Weather Wise. Here's a quick look at today's heat index values from earlier, upper 80s to mid 90s. It's another one of those calculated rather than measured values that we show you here on Channel 2, kind of like the dew point. All right, who tensed up when I said calculated? Don't worry, I'm not gonna beat you over the head with math this week, but since you asked, all you need to know from that formula is that it spells out the relationship between temperature, relative humidity, and how hot it feels. Basically, if one of those two goes up, or if both of them go up, it's going to feel hotter out. Another way to think about it, something we've gotten a little used to doing over the last few weeks, sweating. Yeah! The sweating is how we cool off, kind of. The actual moisture on our skin isn't what helps us cool down, it's actually the moisture from our sweat evaporating that helps to bring our body temperature down a little bit. Evaporation is what scientists call an endothermic process. The reaction needs to take in energy in the form of heat from the environment to turn a liquid, in this case sweat, into a gas. That means some heat gets used up from our bodies and then we start to cool down. But if it's super humid outside like it is today, our bodies aren't able to evaporate that sweat as efficiently and we can't cool off as effectively. That is what the heat index tells us. It's essentially a measure of how efficiently we're going to be able to cool ourselves based on how much moisture is already in the air. Here's an easy to read heat index chart from the National Weather Service. They already did all of the math for us. Let's look at Tuesday's temperatures as an example. The high was about 88 degrees and the relative humidity at the time, about 50%. That gives us a heat index value around 91 degrees. Definitely a hot afternoon, but not quite on the dangerous side just yet. But the heat index can tip us off to when conditions might become dangerous. Usually when it reaches the mid 90s, dehydration and muscle cramps become more likely. If the National Weather Service is confident that those conditions will develop and last for a couple hours or more, a heat advisory will be issued, much like what we saw today. If the forecast calls for a heat index of 105, they'll send out an excessive heat warning. That's when things like heat stroke become likely even for healthy people. Fortunately, that's pretty rare around here. But there's one more thing that we need to factor in when considering the heat index, the sun. Because the actual heat index equation doesn't factor that in. It would be way too complicated to try to model the different angle of the sun throughout the day. So as an easy little addition, if it's a bright sunshiny day like this, Count on adding a good 10 to 15 degrees to that heat index. If you're going to be physically active, add another 10 to 15 degrees to that. Now you see why we ask you to keep your physical activity to early morning or late in the evening during extremely hot days just like this. The long range forecast calls for plenty more warmth through mid-September, not unlike last year. So enjoy the bonus pool and boat time over the next couple of weeks and I'll see you next week for another edition of Heather's Weather Wise. Until then, remember, it's good to be a geek.